Guess who's back? Back again. Ottoman's back to whoop your ass. Ah, here we are again. Decline of the Ottomans, even though they won't decline today. Ugh, I, I always forget that the screen pops up. So here we are. This time I can't really make the extra missions since I haven't done them all yet. Since I, I, think, I think I just forgot to do them. But yeah, here we are. Let's get into this. I hope this can be helpful to you Turks and just people who actually want to like get the game on with. But well, here we are. <laughs> well, let's look at the first mission. The first mission starts off interestingly since here are two different objectives. There is the green guys and there is the red guys. Big tip kill the green guys to get these units so these are the four units you start with but you'll get all of the other units once you kill the green guys so here have a little look first here on top there's a really good artillery so maybe you want to you know get that still so don't use your strongest artillery yet here we have a breastplate cavalry do we still have a co no, no, they don't have cossacks are they called in other turkish units called i don't quite know but you often start with some good Cavalry unit as well. This is a militia, so don't use him. Light infantry, so we can use our second strongest uh, infantry on him. The breastplate is pretty decent, so you can add a good general. Now look, if I kill this guy, and we unlock these two units. Now here, oh yeah, the Sipai cavalry. What can they do again? They can steal life, so they are really good. So add some good boys here. Actually, I reckon go and continue attacking on the north. Here again, don't use your best artillery yet. And try to prioritize this guy so you get this artillery, at least that for me, since I have really good um, artillery general. Here we continue running up north. Don't really focus on anything else yet. Like I said, first you try to get your units free. Don't go and fight the major battles yet. And I really to go and target this guy, just screw you. Just target him. The music can target like casually, by the way. Just a little, by the way. And then obviously once you've killed all these boys, now I'm, um, the descriptions are going long, so yeah, let's kill them. Now we get this artillery, you add a strong artillery general, you look at all the units you still have, there's the light artillery, uh, light machine gun. And well, from now on it's pretty easy, you go and kill these guys. This one is not so hard, this mission is pretty doable. Once you add the good generals to the good units, you'll have it a lot easier. So that's it. Second mission. Raid on the Suez Canal. I actually don't really remember it. Oh wait, this one is actually pretty hard. As I remember, I barely did it. So yeah, you have to take these three things. You can just have a unit in here. You don't necessarily have to take the city, which is already an improvement because I went and got the cities because I sold. I have to get the cities. Well, you start off with these units. You can add your best artillery. I hope by now you will have even off. You should have even off by now. Oh look, he can even double hit. That's why I really enjoy this guy. Here again, you go and rush for the city. I don't think you get any extra units this time, so this is what you're working with. But you'll get extra gold. What I could do is go attack this guy, but I'm gonna kill the uh, artillery first. Uh, this campaign playthrough, you always, almost always get a Sipai cavalry and guard Sipai, just the, the Ottoman guys, I'm, I'm really butchering the name. Add your best generals to it because it's such a good unit. Taking life is so valuable. Yeah, now get a message, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, to do still get units. I forgot that. You guys still a second? Okay, I shouldn't have added... Shouldn't have added uh, Jackson to the breastplate. So in that case, you wait a turn, then you only add him. It's a good lesson for you to learn. And don't add Hindenburg like I did, because there's a second good artillery coming up. So there's a lot to learn for me. That's just, I totally forgot this mission. And look now. Okay, he didn't actually destroy the city, which he should have. Now we already have it. Turn two. 200 gold and the option to build more units here you have to go for the second city so go for both cities and you can start building the navy to attack over here i'm not sure if you no you don't get one but what you then also can do is uh, put this boy or this boy or this boy on this tile here and destroy the fort because the fort is quite susceptible to your artillery destroy that go down here take this you get a lot of um technology for your ships build a lot of u-boats and go and whoop him. I, I, I'm not sure if you slash you get some event spawned U-boats. I'm not gonna play the whole mission, or just boats in general. I'm not anymore sure, but I think uh, there might be a little invasion force which still arrives here somewhere. I'm, I don't remember. Either way, you rush down here, you build ships, take this port obviously, and then you go for these two ports. Don't have to go for a full land invasion. 
Third mission is the Dardanelles, which I haven't done myself yet, so I find it hard to comment on it. The first battle of... Uh, Kritia, my god. That took me far too long to read. Here it's a holding the, the city's mission. Here, uh, I mean, the first focus has been the south, because the French are landing. Like, split your forces in half. Half go here, half go here. I'd advise you to send the non-artillery to the south and the artillery to the west because the west is a lot of um, units which are landing. Be wary, these units are landing, these units are landing and then these units will still land and I think that even still extra amount of units will spawn. You only have to hold, you have to hold all three, okay, this is not an easy mission. And your units are already damaged so it kind of looks already quite dire but I felt it quite doable so you add your artillery to this boy since he was in heals again. Here you have the Sipai Cavalry as always, you don't put them any kids, I mean you can if you want to. You send them down here, you prioritize this attack here, new infantry is really good, you'll have to put your strongest infantry on here. Again, by now you should already have healing items on your generals, which makes life a little easier. You go here, he goes here, what do you have here, breastplate, so this time not two Sipais, and you split it up. You might have to take the cities, you, it's very likely that you can take the cities, yeah. Artillery over here, destroy the ships, uh, non-artillery down here, kill the units and as always, as always prioritize the artillery first since they can do damage from a distance so they are more annoying. So here I'll try to rush in for example, kill this guy, he recovers some health, always amazing, I just love that feature, oops, not here. Yeah, with three generals you should be pretty able to deal with this attack here, not as brutal, don't forget prioritize the artillery over here. You rush to the shore and you start bombarding their landing units but then the annoying part is when these guys down here land and you have to just focus a bit in the middle and yeah defend wherever it's needed second battle of kirath here it's again a holding oh this one is really annoying since holding the ports this one's pretty pretty darn easy this one's a major annoyance again artilleries you have already saw was a good one so ivanov you put them here Sipai Cavalry again, very useful, you set them here. And your ships, you should add a general to your ships this time. Do you have any naval generals? I now got BT, since I had tons of medals. Here, try to confront this army with your navy boys. Faragut, the unsuspectingly good guy. I'm not sure if they have bigger reach this time, let me have a look. They do. Okay, this is a mission where artillery is very, very strong, so go for artilleries. Build artilleries, they have an extra reach, don't forget that reach because you can hit ships and units from further away. The annoyance is to take this one back, yeah, sometimes you maybe will have to take the city from your allies. Well, I, uh, yeah, I'm not remembering it correctly anymore, but I remember this was quite a hard mission. Maybe you have to redo that because just taking this board is quite annoying. But, as I said... Maybe you even can send him here, for the moment. Yeah, but the problem is just those freaking ships they have, they have so many. And you have two. What you can do is just build a submarine to assist you, but then you go over budget. Ugh. Okay, this is an annoying mission. Just survive, try to disperse some priority, this one's quite easy to hold. Let's quickly look how the AI behaves, since I don't remember this. Okay, yeah, they do go here, so what you can do is hit here. Over here I'll go with this guy, now I'll go and run back. Use the extra distance, I have to hit him, you see I got the extra distance in, so no need to get damaged. This is an easy hit. Your cavalry general does quite good damage. You get some damage as well, but yeah, well, that's just to be expected. How does the AI behave? How does the AI behave? Probably should have attacked this guy here, but it doesn't matter. Okay, this doesn't make sense, so I go here and hit this here. I should have hit him. I can hit him. At this time I didn't even use the extra reach, but we still hit him, got him. We got him, boys. And if I remember correctly, they will spawn again units, so just, yeah, hold out. Try to focus this port here, it's the annoying one to hold, so surround it with good units. Here even mediocre units can do pretty well holding the port. Yeah. Only 15 turns, not that long to survive. There's in the third battle of Kirat, which I actually then did do. I'm not just going to look at one single extra mission, since they're not vital for you to continue, so let's focus on the vital ones. Here again, you have to hold, hold your positions as always. They really like to hold for the Ottomans. 
You have to hold. You have to hold two here. Three. Okay. So you'll lose this city. And you have to take it back again. You start off with some okay units. Again, as always, Ivanov on the best artillery. Here's a Sipai. Put your McLean on it or whatever you got. Try to intercept them as soon as possible. Your cavalry. Your, I mean, and I have probably some extra reach in comparison to you. So just don't forget that. Actually, you should go here so that this use unit can't land. Hit this boy. And they already have some major damage on the units before they even landed. Again, the new infantry is Ivanov land. This time you can, can add a navy boy. Faragut does a perfect well job if you don't have PT. Can you get a Sipa? You can't. Okay. So again, just hold this position. And I think there's some units will spawn here. So be prepared in the later stages that units will spawn here. So don't just totally abandon your city here because you might lose it. Don't be an idiot. This one here isn't as hard to hold. This is pretty easy. You have to really focus this here. Maybe you send like one or two units to go and help here. Battle of Wadi. I'm totally not pronouncing it correctly, but it was just funny to say it like that. Wadi Wadi. Okay, here you have the issue that you have two places to attack. You have this city you should hold. Your city you should hold. This city you should take. This city you should take. Now, the way I did it here was I focused everything on this city first, and then I went for this one. Don't know if that's the right way, but that's how I did it, and I managed the mission, so I guess it can't be totally wrong. As always, Ivanov is here. As always, Hindenburg. You really by now should have two artilleries. You just should, and you go for a fort always first, because the forts are annoying. You have a good cavalry, you have still a second. Yeah, you still have the sea pie, so I, I think I'd even prefer the sea pie here with my best cavalry. Put the second best on this one here on the armored truck, because he just heals again. And here I'll wait a bit before I charge too hard, since first of all your allies will come to help you and you should bomb this fort with the artillery first before you go too hard with the, um, with the other units because our fort will really damage it. So here it's already destroyed. So what you do, you surround this boy, hit him. And you just fully go, I, I, let's, well, I'm over, I'm over explaining here. What you maybe should do is also send like one or two generals down here to help because the city might fall. That's annoying. Forgot that. So major army goes here, crushes this city with all the allies together. They'll be overwhelmed pretty soon. I mean, you also have 18 turns, so don't feel too rushed. Just take the city, be safe, and then return back and send everything towards the city. It's not that hard, this mission, I felt. So a second Suez offensive. Here, you have to take the port. Taking the port actually isn't even that easy. I mean, it should be easy, doable, but I think they still have reinforcements and this artillery and this fort are a bit annoying. Here you have no extra units. So you have to take the city, you have nothing to produce new ones. Again, you have a strong artillery, Mr. Ivanov. I'm pretty sure again you spawn some uh, second units, so don't put all of them down yet. This is always the new infantry, so that's the best one. Here's the light machine gun here. Check, check, check. I'm just no, I'm not gonna risk it yet. Let's just have a look. And here you can add one or two navy generals actually, since navy combat is kind of important this time. Again, add them on your strongest ships. Always add your strongest generals on the strongest units. Pretty obvious. And then you go for this here and you go for the city. Again, as always, try to send your artilleries first to take out this fort. This I'm gonna do. I'm first gonna take out this boy here. Yep. Uh, how far does he get? He doesn't get that far, so I'll just send him closer. Hit this. You don't have to worry too much of getting too close because this is a machine gun. It can't hit you from two tiles, so that's not a big issue. I'm very sure you get extra units. I just, yeah, didn't really bank on it this time. And I kind of added with a lot of generals. You don't get a lot of generals here. Please be aware of that. By the way, while running by, you can still bombard these boys here a little bit. Don't send the U-boats too close. And the mistake here. You can just go here and you can hit those boys here from a distance. And do some extra damage. I used to like to focus one unit and then kill it off. Okay, they're talking about a blockade, blah, blah, blah. So here you just go next to it. And you let your artillery do a major work on this fort. It's almost already dead. And now it should be dead. Now you focus. On rushing in, you only have this one city to take. Holding it is not as easy to try to time the taking of the city with taking the port as well. Sounds a bit more complicated than it is. Yeah, like I said, here they spawned extra units. 
that's a bit annoying. I always like to take out these U-boats as well since they are very annoying. Try not to get too close to the coast like I did right now because this guy can hit you. And yeah, just focus this here. Full of Baghdad. Ugh, this one's annoying. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. You have to really focus on helping your city. You could just fully go and kill this offensive or you can go and defend the city. I find defending is a little easier. But my generals right now are so OP so that I can just could I just can send them in. What you can do is just run back a little bit and defend. Since you have a healing station, which is pretty valuable. Use that as always strongest channels and strongest units. This boy is the strongest gen RT. You can add this time a howitzer, so build the howitzer to put your second best artillery on it. Your strongest still on the spawn unit. And yeah. Go and heal your units often. This is an important thing here, this mission. Here you still have an extra strong infantry guy, don't forget that. Yeah. Heal, attack and defend. They will overwhelm. You just have to be sure to hold this allied city. Yours is usually easy to hold, the allies is usually a bit the annoying part. And again you have to hold both. The Battle of Istanbulat sounds almost like Istanbul, but it's not. Uh, you have a strong artillery. This time the artillery is so incredibly important because one of your uh, aims is to <laughs> kill the forts. So what I did is I started down here, hit this one, hit this one. Again, the cavalry are very important since you have the healing effect on them. So you can attack pretty you know, carelessly almost. And just go for it. Don't get too close yet to their fort right now, since you don't want the ex you don't want the damage taken. You only have one very good cavalry, only have one very good um, artillery. So make sure to really protect the artillery. The artillery is vital here. You go kill all the forts, and then these, this boy here will rush out and kill himself. So make sure you kill those forts. So here, for example. Don't attack here with your artillery, you go and make some room for him, so he can hit it. Here? Wait, 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 now I made a mistake. I should have let him get here, I should have, oh, now I made a mistake. I said, okay, 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 but no, I can still hit. Just make sure your artillery hits those forts, because he does crazy damage. Now I'm just going for a different strategy in this <laughs> showing, since I'm an idiot, but yeah. <laughs> I am again not sure if you spawn extra units, let's quickly click a bit through these missions. Right now this fort is so damaged, I should be able... Damn it, he doesn't have to reach. Okay, so I can still hit it. Let's say it like this, let's have a look if anything happens. Okay, the morale goes up. I just want to quickly click through to see if you spawn any extra units. If you do anything special. Okay, make sure to protect those forts, obviously. Uh, this artillery, obviously. Just gonna just do a bit of nothing right now. Just have to reach for that thing. And usually she plays a lot smarter, I'm just YOLOing it right now just to look if there's anything special. Okay, not really. Um, I'm still quickly gonna... Don't forget I can be this careless since I have really OP generals, etc. Um, now I kind of almost got my artillery kill, which would be a terrible situation to be in right now for you. But since I didn't protect it at all, I didn't really care, it's just what happens. <laughs> That's why you can't auto this. Okay, now I'm going to protect him a little bit just so I can kill that last fort. And actually, if he killed the last fort, you did his job. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you won't be able to spawn any new units. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, the good thing is he's already rushing out the boy, so you can go and kill him off. Um, here, please kill. I said please kill, don't not kill. The good thing is he heals a little bit, so he won't die, so I can still hit that freaking fort. Here, okay, okay, okay. I might even be able to do this mission right now by just <laughs> YOLOing it, even though I didn't really plan to. So here we finally can hit it, even though we'll take some good damage, but yeah. Focus this guy. Oh my god, I'm actually probably gonna do this quickly. <laughs> Rushed it. Did I lose my artillery? Okay, this is a big issue. Shouldn't have lost that, but like I said, it just was super careless. But even right now with those two generals, I should be able to do it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna win this mission just by absolutely YOLOing it. Just look. But I'm not sure you can do that. Yeah, I just did. 
Okay, but you saw what happened basically. I went and attacked that. <laughs> what a bad example. But I explained it, you know what to do. It's not such a hard mission even if I just could YOLO it. Okay, now the last one. Battle of Istanbul up. This one is very similar to the German one in the end. Here to hold two key points. And I found it harder to hold this one here than to hold this one. And you will eventually take your allies stuff. Look what you have here. You have a good navy. You add a navy general. Just one. Just go for the one. You have your uh, guard syphilis. Syphilis. I don't know how they're called. You charge in. Because you can take some good damage with them. Because they'll heal quite well. You build artillery. You can build an extra artillery. Don't forget that. Wait a second so you can build your field artillery. And rush in and help your allies. Because they're idiots. They'll lose the cities. And they'll be... Uh, It'll be up to you. There's not a lot to say here. Just make sure this one is protected as well. You only have to hold two. So if you lose this one or if you lose this one in the end, it doesn't really matter. I think I managed to get this city back in the last round. But if you lose this, it's not as bad. This one I found, honestly, it's easier to hold than this here. And this one's anyway, which is super easy to hold. So yeah, that's it. I hope you can manage the Turkish campaign. The Ottoman decline, even though Ottomans are not really declining. Is this long enough for you? Do you want more explanations? If yes write a comment and have a nice day bye subscribe to julas or i'll break y'all in half